Avanti's work started at IIT Bombay. I was a student there and I'd spent the five years there at IIT being told that this was an institute of national importance, that we were all to engage in the activity of nation building and that just seemed like a false promise if the majority of the Indian population was not represented in a free or close to free or heavily government funded public institution like IIT. Majority of our best talent is in rural India, who can in 10 years, 15 years be part of India's leadership. They can be IAS officers, they can be leaders of companies, they can lead academia, they can even be politicians. And all of this talent every single year gets wasted. And if you meet these children, you start to realize you know, that they, they simultaneously embody, you know, I think extreme drive. Right, and there's something quite magical about seeing that level of ambition. My name is Sonam. I am a teacher of the 10th grade. I am a video scientist. Because the technology is our country is going to grow further. My name is Sachin. I am a teacher of the 10th grade. 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 मैं कक्षा दसवीं की छात्रा हूँ मैं बड़े होकर साइंटिस्ट बनना चाहती हूँ साइंटिस्ट इसीलिए बनना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि हमारे सर ने एक वीडियो दिखाया था चंद्रयान टू पे वहाँ पे कुछ लेडी भी थी वो उसके ऊपर काम वगैरह कर रही थी तो मेरे को हौसला मिला उनसे और मैं साइंटिस्ट बनना चाहती हूँ One of the questions that we've always, you know, been asked, and something that you know we think quite a lot about, is why this focus on STEM, right? Because in some ways we are, I keep joking that Ravanti is like an Indian uncle, you know, where we tell everyone to become an engineer. Uh, but the reality really is that if you don't have networks or money, uh, one of the only ways in which you can almost create a straight line path to regular income is through STEM colleges. If you look at the Indian public school system. There's about 5 million children who graduate in science every year. Out of those children, barely 100,000, barely 1 lakh, right, out of 50 lakh children, uh, will actually go into what you would call a category 1 top tier STEM institution, like a good engineering college which has high placement or an architecture school or an agriculture school. Um, and the gap between them and a child who goes to a private school is almost 1 is to 10. And, and it is this you know, inequity that one that Avanti strives to break. So we started then transforming ourselves into a teaching learning organization. Uh, our first batch graduated in 2013, um, which was from the Navodaya Vidyalaya in Pondicherry. And I think in that very first batch, we were able to get you know, 15, 16 children into IIT. So over the last decade, we've sent over 5,000 kids to top tier elite you know, engineering colleges, medical colleges. Uh, we've sent close to 1,000 children to the IITs, triple IITs, and what we call like the category one top tier colleges uh, over this time. Um, and we've probably worked with two or three million children. This year, I think we'll have over two lakh children, you know, who engage with the program in some manner. The kids who engage meaningfully, though, are the ones who you know, prepare in high-intensity test prep programs, which are often 1,200, 1,300 hours of instruction over two years. That number would be about eight or 9,000. Um, and what we find each year is, you know, obviously from the 8,000, 9,000 that in each cohort that we get, you know, a quarter of them or more will qualify. These numbers, uh, tell one story, but I think it's really the story of the kids, right? Which is, um, I think from our earliest batches, Pooja Jha, who you know went to me medical college at Maulana Azad, topped the college, prepared for the IAS, topped the IAS, got a top 100 All India rank, is now an IFS officer. We have uh, Ayush, who was at a center in Kanpur, his parents are mechanics, uh, went to MIT on a full ride to the US now has a Y Combinator backed startup. Even in the younger cohorts, you know, we have children who, you know, there's a, there was a big international competition hosted by Rick Schmidt's family called Rise. It has only about 100, 500, 200 children globally who get selected. Two of the finalists were Avanti students from a rural Navodaya school. Kushal, who was one of the finalists, his problem statement was to solve for, you know, the utilization of pesticides and inputs in agriculture. And his family is a, you know, family does marginal agricultural labor. These leaps, I think, of these children, I think one is really inspiring for us, but also I think is testament to the fact that this is possible. It's a demonstration of the fact that the government and civil society can work together to create the highest quality program for college access. 
So we currently work with the Navodaya system in seven uh, Indian states. Um, the goal is to add maybe a few states every year. So then over the next 10 years, we can get to all, all states in the country. Our goal you know, over the next decade is to ensure that at least 100,000 children every year are getting you know, preparation. And which would mean that at least 25, 30,000 every year would start going into these top tier colleges. Uh, and at that point in time, it's cohesively like the largest program to identify and train gifted youth uh, in India.